What's up guys, Void here from View the Void, and today we're going to be doing a bit of a tech video. If you have seen my stream or any of the YouTube videos that I post, you might have asked yourself, why does it look so good? Why is everything so smooth? And what emulator do you use? Uh, so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you from start to finish exactly how I set up the emulator that I use for streaming and recording YouTube videos. And so what you do is from your browser, it's actually called Tencent Gaming Buddy. So you type in Tencent gaming buddy and in my instance it is the first selection on top it is tgb.qq.com i'll go ahead and leave a link in the description uh, so you can see exactly what website it is but it is exactly what it advertises 10 cents best ever emulator for pubg mobile uh, so we click download i will save it to my desktop and what this emulator has done, or the company has done, is they have stripped their emulator of all of these secondary processes that a normal emulator would have, like BlueStacks or Knox, and it is just purely specifically for performance. And so that is why it looks so good, and it uh, runs so smoothly as opposed to any other emulator that I've ever used. And so we click, you launch it, a screen will come up that asks you if you want to allow it to make changes to your device, and you click yes. And then we can go ahead and close out of the browser at this point. So you have to install PUBG first. So I click install, and there's a reason for that that I'll explain a little bit later in the video. But we'll go ahead and come back when this is done. Okay, so now that that's done, uh, make sure that add icon is checked and press start. Once you launch this screen here, it will initialize and go ahead and download PUBG for you. So there it is waiting for download. Okay, so once you have uh, finished downloading PUBG, it'll actually auto launch the emulator here. And so what you want to do is you click Ultra HD 2K or 1080p, whatever. Uh, for my case, I use 2K, even though I don't have a 2K monitor. Click save, and then it'll ask you to restart. So go ahead and restart it. It'll relaunch the, uh, the game. And then at this point, you can actually um, go to this screen here and just close out of it. Now what I do to save time is right now in the bottom of my uh, address bar here, I have it hidden for security purposes, but what you want to do is go down, right click it on the Tencent Gaming emulator icon and click pin to taskbar. Now, uh, now we're ready to uh, exit to the main screen and change some settings. So what you want to do is double click this exit arrow here, go to the main screen. And now we're going to adjust the settings. So in the upper right hand corner, there are three bars that say menu. You click that. Go to settings. You want to, under basic, you want to uh, uncheck run at startup or that first one. And actually, if for whatever reason your emulator is in a different language than what you speak, you can click this here. It's uh, this box on the first tab, basics. Scroll down and select the language that you speak. And then you can actually save it and restart it at that point. But we will continue going here. So engine is going to be OpenGL and you want to check the first three and uncheck rendering optimization. So check the first three, render cache, enforce global render cache and prioritize dedicated GPU, uncheck rendering optimization. And for the uh, anti-aliasing, you're going to leave it at close. For the memory, you're going to uh, set it to 2048, which is the amount of RAM that you're dedicating to this processor or for, to this application. It's kind of weird because I, my computer can handle the 4096, but if you set it to 4096, it messes up the graphics for some reason. So uh, leave it at 2048. Your processor is going to be at 2. Same same thing. I can handle more, but you have to leave it at 2 for some reason. Resolution is going to be 1920 by 1080, and the DPI is going to be 240. And then we go to the next tab, the game tab, and it should already be Ultra HD 2K, but for the display quality, I click HD and then click save and it'll say it'll take effect next time you start it so click OK and I'm gonna go ahead and actually just X out of there and then on the bottom where I just pinned it to my taskbar down here um, I'll click it and it should just ask you to press yes or no you press yes it'll auto launch the emulator now once you get to this point we're actually ready to add uh, different apps so once you're on this screen here it won't auto launch PUBG but what you want to do is you want to press F9. So you have to press F9 and it will give you more options here. You cannot just download an APK and drag it into this application. You have to download it from within the app. So again, you have this screen, you press F9 and then you wanna to go to the browser. 
on the bottom uh, I just click decline for you know to give it location access and in the top here uh, whatever game you want to play in this case it'll be lineage 2 revolution you just type in the name of the app so lineage 2 revolution global apk because i'm playing on the global version and whatever game uh, you're searching for just type it in the address bar there and a good website to do is uh, apk pure that's usually the best one or apk monk here is good too but uh at this point you might have to do some digging so we'll go here and check this one out if you happen to know the update number there it is there but if you scroll down and you look for um, the update patch notes here it says new temporal rift temple of dragon hearts i know that just came out so this is the newest apk so you click download apk and then if you look in the upper left hand corner you'll see that it is uh downloading that'll indicate that it's downloading so you can actually exit now you double click this exit arrow to go back to the home screen and then you want to click on downloads this uh, green icon here and you'll see there is the apk so you click it in the bottom right hand corner you click install and there it is installed so you click open now um what you have to do at this point is change the settings within the game uh, i'll go ahead and show you how to do that on the home screen here These arrows in the upper right hand corner you can actually collapse that if you don't want the exit sign to show while you're playing but you can full screen it and uh, collapse that which I do while I stream but um what you do is you click the cog wheel in the upper right hand corner and I actually set all of my settings here to high so frame rate graphics quality resolution quality loading performance sound channel quality for the effects I do show only me uh, show other players name tag show all Max member count is actually normal because high is just kind of unnecessary. Uh, show equipment is high. Cloak high. Enhancement message high. Touch effect indicator is off. Screen vibration. I turn that off. That's actually quite annoying. And uh, I leave the show auto battle distance. That's good. And then, of course, skip all the cutscenes so that your uh, temporal rift friends don't hate you. So uh, exit out of that. And now we actually have to um, log into the game with your credentials. So you click on the uh, chain links up there, connect to Facebook. And then once it comes up, it'll ask you what uh, your Facebook info is. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Once you press log in, it'll ask you to continue. Press OK. And then there it is. You have your account loaded. Now, the graphics are not um, updated yet because you have to restart. So. Uh, once you've verified that your account is in there, you just X out back to your home screen. Now you don't actually need these, so I'll highlight them and delete them because uh, if you did what I did before and you saved it to your taskbar at the bottom down here, again, which is hidden, you can just click it. It'll ask you to press uh, yes or no to allow it to make changes and I press yes and it will launch the application. So this time it will not auto launch PUBG, but uh, what you have to do is you actually, regardless of what settings you have, you have to first launch PUBG to change it. Because I have my settings from what I set up before, but for some reason, in order to for it to look good, you have to first click PUBG, and then it'll say switching to DirectX engine will enhance the display effects for the current game. So you click yes, and now your emulator will relaunch, and it's gonna be in advanced mode or whatever, whatever mode it is. So once that relaunch is here, it's going to auto launch PUBG and it's going to look amazing. So again, we don't need PUBG. So bottom right hand corner, double click exit, and then you launch Lineage 2 Revolution. And now the graphics are going to be kicked just into overdrive mode. So uh, some of you are saying, why can't you just switch to DirectX here? You know, for some reason, switching to DirectX, it doesn't solve the problem or DirectX Plus, it doesn't solve the problem. It just, it still sucks. So this is what you have to do to get good graphics. So. Uh, we're going to go ahead and log into my account. Make sure that everything is lickety split. Of course, you have to download the patch data. So uh, we'll be right back in just a second. Okay, so we downloaded the patch data. Now let's log in and see what it looks like. Okay, so we logged in. And first things first, um, you hold control on the keyboard and zoom the mouse wheel down to zoom out. That's actually pretty important. And now I'm going to show you about key mapping. Uh, so what you do is uh, if this is collapsed here, these double arrows in the top, you click that to maximize the bar, click key mapping, and uh, make sure that your steering wheel 
is checked and then you actually take it and just drag it directly on top of your uh, movement wheel here, your movement circle, and uh, click save. And then if you use WASD, you can actually move in pretty tight concentric circles there. And it's actually really, really, really responsive. And so this is what I use for movement. And then I obviously use my mouse here to click the ability. So if I'm chasing someone or you know wanting to do something, I can just move around and just click my abilities as I see them come up and then I can, you know, have everything else on the access bar there. So, um, there's that. If you guys were curious about um, linking your account to Facebook, you have to already have a Facebook account made. And what you'll want to do is click on the three bars here, settings, settings again, and then in the upper right-hand corner, account, and you just actually click, uh, face, it should, should say connect to Facebook if you haven't already done that. If you do that on your device your mobile device um, it should just auto link you to Facebook and then you can go through the steps that I showed you earlier in this video to go ahead and load your account onto Tencent Gaming Buddy and have this smooth awesome gameplay uh, so there it is guys I hope that was helpful um, I'm going to make a couple more tech videos because I do use Tencent Gaming Buddy but I also do use Knox as well um, and I'll explain the reasons for that in another video but this is one video out of several tech videos that are gonna help you guys um, just basically bring tremendous quality of life improvements to this game. You can play the game on your computer. You don't have to always slave away on your phone. And it's actually very nice to be able to just, you know, turn your computer on, run to a location, hit auto, and then just come back hours later and you're fine. So uh, with that being said, thank you very much. If you guys did enjoy the video, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Good to see you.